It's Yu-Gi-Oh! Ban list time! Let's go! <laughs> All right, guys, I'm well aware there has been a new ban list coming effective June 5th, 2023, a day before my birthday. It's gonna be hype. Um, hopefully on the Tuesday on my actual birthday, I could actually go to a tournament to see how the new, uh, you know, meta is going to change, like how everything's going to be settling in. We did get this update about three days ago, so I'm a little late to the party making this video, but better late than never, of course, is my motto. All right, let's get cracking into this and let's see what's new. All right. First thing that I'm already seeing is Cyberstein is now forbidden, so it's gonna be banned. Cyberstein was allowing a lot of FTK, so this is like obviously a no-brainer. Of course, they had to ban this card. And then if you keep scrolling, we actually see Super Heavy Samurai Scarecrow. I personally never got to play against Super Heavy Samurai just yet, because uh, I don't really go out to locals or attorneys at all like that often. But I have heard a lot of horror stories, and apparently that card was like pretty good for the whole super heavy samurai um archetype basically but i believe there's still going to be ways to play with them they still have a lot of one card combos so i don't think the deck is dead just yet but we'll just have to see how the the meta turns out diablosis let's go i was actually very hopeful for this one uh every time that i went to a locals i would always lose to uh Kashira. and then that's the exact reason why like they would just so um i didn't realize that playing Pot of Desires against Castera was actually pretty bad. Because, I mean, now that I think about it and I actually know more about the game. Like, you know, you banish your 10. And then if they have an Arise Heart on field, then obviously they could do their whole, um, like, mandated combo or whatever that they have to do. Their mandated effect. And then if they take out a uh, Diabolosis, they get to banish from your deck equal to how many you already have banished. So they would just deck me out and I would just lose. So, um, I wouldn't know how to play against that, but now I don't even have to think about it. Like the card's not even there. I don't even have to worry about it. So I'm all good. Uh, a pointer of the red Lotus. It makes sense. There's a lot of cards here in, um, in the band section that pretty much do the same thing. So I had a feeling it was going to go, but to be honest, like I didn't really see a lot of people running this card. At least anybody that I, I saw, like nobody was running this card. Branded expulsion. Um, I'm kind of happy about uh, Yes, branded still has that one. Uh, I think it's a fusion card that they have that they're basically able to do the same thing But at least they don't have two different ways to do it. You know, it's like they have to get into that uh, Fusion card waste a resource into going into that instead of going into maybe a different combo line just to get uh, like some sort of lock like the gimmick puppet lock the raw lock, you know, whatever and honestly uh i don't even uh, there was a lot of people already swaying away from the branded expulsion anyways so i don't think the branded expulsion is really gonna do much but it's definitely gonna be like one of those things that you're not you know it's kind of you're glad that you're not gonna see it anymore so that's always a good thing and then blaster dragon ruler of infernos uh i'm actually not too familiar with this card hey but it's back to the limited it was banned so that's pretty good. Math Mech Circular. Let's go. Uh, Math Mech to one. The circular, I mean. That card was broken. Insane. So I'm glad that it got hit. And then uh, Gamma, man. Gamma. I was kind of afraid. Like, I've been so hesitant on posting a new uh, Sword Soul update of my deck. Because I was running Gamma. And I just had an itch. I had a feeling that they were going to hit it. And they did. Uh, it pretty much makes the card kind of unplayable, and at least in my eyes, like Gamma, you have one Gamma, right? You also need to have the driver or else it doesn't work. And especially in a deck like Sword Soul, where you have to, uh, you could either run Pot of Desires or people are running the Small World for the Ringo Worms. Like, yeah, you could search out Gamma, but like you still have that one brick in your deck and it's going to become less consistent for just one card. Like... I don't think it's that worth it, so. And then Danglong. I'm actually super hype. I've been seeing a lot of deck profiles with the Sword Soul and Danglong and the Yang Zing stuff. So that has me pretty happy. Hopefully, I'm able to get my hands on these cards and test them out. 
um i hear a lot of good things you can get a lot of negates a lot of stronger boards but it's kind of like a win more card same with ringle worm so that's the same reason why i'm not playing ringle worm because like if you have a good hand already then it's just gonna make your hand better but if you don't have like a good hand at all and you just have the ringle worm like it just makes you brick at like mm, about 75 percent of the time so that's why I'm not playing the Ringo Worm, at least just yet. Not until I see, maybe I get a little bit more practice with it. I'll see. I'll see how it goes. And then cast your Rise Heart, big W. I was just talking about it. Diablosis banned. Cast your Rise Heart to one. That means I could just get rid of this Rise Heart, and then boom, I'd never have to worry about it ever again. Ah, oh, that feels great. That feels great. Oh, oh wow. Delicious memory to one, really. I didn't think Pearly was going to get hit so soon. I mean, it just became a good deck. I mean, hopefully, I don't think this is the new the new card that really makes the deck good. But uh, hopefully it doesn't hurt them that much. Because I actually like the, the Pirelli strat uh, strategy, sorry. Uh, Naturia Sacred Tree, I don't know why they hit this. That, uh, that doesn't make any sense, but okay. Uh, oh, oh, whoa, whoa, that's a lot of here. Herald of the Orange Light is now semi-limited. Okay. Unicorn at, at two. Lightning Storm at two. Uh, Pot of Desires isn't at three. Dang it. I was kind of hoping Pot of Desires would come at three, but it stays in semi-limited. I'm not too mad about it. Runic Founded got hit to two. Boo-hoo. They were already playing two, so that's not really doing much. Ooh, Sky Strikers engaged to two. I have a homie who's really, really into... Um, sky strikers so they're gonna be able to have a blast with that card i'm glad uh, i was actually playing with them uh last night and sky strikers is cool sky, sky strikers is good now like it's 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 a good game good deck sorry uh sprite started a two uh i mean it kind of hurts the consistency a little but i mean it's sprite starter it's still a good card at two you're still gonna be seeing it quite often so Let's keep going. Steam the Cloak, no longer on the list, okay. Uh, Ali Birdman to three, Samsara to three, Spiral at three, Luralux or Sight. I mean, nobody was really playing Luralux at three anyways. They were playing it at two. Uh, Draco Faceoff might be good for the, the true Draco strategy. Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll see how that goes. And then uh, Sky Striker Mecha Modules Multi Roll. Um, I believe that's the continue spell for sky striker so i think sky strikers are back man like like i was saying i played against my friend and sky strikers could they could steal your cards like they just take they break boards and steal cards that's what they do so that's pretty good overall i'm pretty excited with this ban list uh, stay tuned for the upcoming future i'm gonna be doing a tier list of maybe new hand traps you could run now that gamma's gone uh new maybe side deck cards maybe new board breakers you know and then of course my sword soul deck profile is coming soon i just need to i need to get back in the kitchen bro i'm, I'm cooking bro i'm gonna be cooking so hard well thank you guys so much for watching this video i'll keep you guys updated with anything i do uh next time i go to any locals i'll for surely go and vlog that experience once again like i did last time and for all you guys who are still here comment down below uh sword soul moye because why not Thank you guys so much for watching this video and peace. Have a good one.